Pride and duty will take you from the mountain. Axe Master Winzoen needs an adventurer he can trust. Ah, Ray, just the man I was hoping to see. Aye, it's plain as day that you've no equal in our guild. I have a task that entrusts to no ordinary marauder. To it, I just received a message from an old comrade in arms of mine who now serves as a guardsman in Costa del Sol. It would seem that the fighting's grown fierce in those parts, and he finds himself in dire need of reinforcements. Mind you, this man is no white-livered whelp. He can wield an axe with the best of them, as evidenced by Master Gigi Ruju's paying good coin for the services of he and his men. No, an enemy who can fluster that bunch is not one to be trifled with. I sent S uh, Soakwib on ahead to tend to the wounded. Seek her out upon your arrival and she'll appraise you of the situation at hand. Raid, ever the sight for sore eyes. The nasty bale of turtles has been preying on the, this area as of late, snapping and gnashing at everything in sight. Why, even the best men that Master Gigi Ruju could buy find themselves no match for the creatures. What has it that the beasts have been sighted swimming in, the, from, in from the lightly caught northern shore? I would send you there to investigate the cause behind these burgeoning numbers. Damn it all! Raid, we must see to the, these beasts! Seven hells! There's no end to them! The to fall back! I'll see to the shell backs! You whelps just try not to end up as turtle grub! That axe! I've not seen its lichen! Let's do what we can!
I should send them scuttling back to their nest. You may call me Curious Scourge. One remark about the name and I'll rip your ugly heads from your shoulders and suck the marrow out of your twitching spines. You two are guards from Costa del Sol, I reckon? Not as such. We are the Marauders Guild, sent here by Axe Master Winzuin to assist in the defense. I am Silkwhip, and this is my comrade, Raid. From the guild, you say? Well, blow me down and call me a bogey. Had you told me sooner, I would introduce myself with proper respect. You're Raid, right? You've only, we've only just met, but I see you in a strength not found in ordinary men. What, sh what say you unleash the beast within and become a warrior with me? A warrior, you say? So it was you I saw brandishing battle techniques I had thought lost to, to the sands of time. Lost? <laughs> Perhaps in these parts, where I come from, the way of the warrior is alive and well. My tribe has been handling them down for thousands of years. Doubt our numbers dwindle with every new summer, and this is why I left the mountain where I was raised to come here. What say you, Raid? If you would walk the path of a warrior with me, seek me out at Hidden Falls. The warriors of old. We have all heard the tales, but never once did I dream that I would meet one in the flesh. My memory is cloudy, but many years ago it was said that there was a young marauder in the company of heroes who would unleash crushing blows theretofore unseen by his comrades. When the company disbanded, he vanished, never to be seen again. Might that be this curious gorge? I cannot vouch for that man's identity. But there can be no defying the display of strength we saw today, nor that he has taken a liking to you, Raid. This could be an opportunity for the ages. Hidden Falls, was it? Were I in your boots, I would head off there without delay. I knew you would come, Raid. Let us begin. Any man can take up the axe and call himself a marauder, but to become a true warrior, he must prove he can tame the inner beast that guides the blade. I witnessed your battle with the turtles, and I must say that I was impressed. You have proven yourself far more worthy than this than I could have imagined. In your hands lies the soul of the warrior, a crystal with which the deeds of a thousand, thousand warriors from history are recorded. From countless generations, the soul has been passed on to those in my tribe who cho chose the path of the warrior to guide them and aid them on their journey. When your inner beast awakens, the runes will resonate, further empowering your will and granting you such strength as you never thought possible. Today, there is a cause for celebration, my friend, for through you I have ensured that my tribe's legacy will endure. Yes, it is for this day, this moment, that I came down from the mountain. Yet, however earnestly I pursue my goal, I cannot deny the fear inside me that my mission will ultimately end in failure. For you see, while I style myself a warrior, the truth is, is that I left the mountains before my training was complete. And while I carry with me the chronicles of my ancestors, detailing the ancient arts of war, I lack the ability to fully decipher the texts. Yet there still may be hope, for there is another who fled my village. One who shared my dream on passing on the teachings of the tribe, and can read the tome, my brother. Without him, I fear there is little more I can teach you at this time. But that will not discourage me from continuing my studies of the Chronicles, nor shake my belief that further secrets will soon reveal themselves to me. Until then, I ask that you use the knowledge I have passed on to you, and continue your training. You must strive to harden your will so that it may endure the strain of future burdens. Good luck, my friend.
Embracing the beast, Curious Gorge is struggling to decipher the ancient text. Welcome back, my friend. I can see that you're not neglected your training. For my part, I fear that deciphering the ancient chronicles of my people is providing to be a much more demanding task than I have imagined. Mind you, it hasn't helped that I have been somewhat preoccupied of, of late. A comrade of mine from the days of the Company of Heroes asked me to do a favor, and it's taken me back and forth across the realm like some bloody fairy. I'm on the hunt for some mysterious feral beast that's been terrorizing small folk. People don't know where this monstrosity came from, but witnesses say its thirst for blood is unlike anything they've ever seen. Unfortunately, the time I have spent in pursuit of the beast is time I have not spent studying the Chronicles, and I am sorry to say I have made little progress. However, while on the road, I was able to decipher one passage that may be of interest to us both. From what I could gather, the Chronicles tell of an ancient set of armor forged by my ancestors in the flames of the Seven Hells, and inscribed the same arcane incantations that adorned the soul of the warrior. It would seem that this mighty armor was passed down from hero to apprentice for centuries, until one man, driven by rage and vainglory, cast all five pieces from Abathia's Abba highest peak. Since that day, the armor has remained lost, and with it, the power it, that it harbors. As far as I can make out, the next passage of the Chronicles concerns the whereabouts of these missing artifacts, though I have only been able to make sense of the odd word thus far. Still, I must confess to some excitement. Imagine what a warrior clad in such garb could achieve. Ah, uh, if only my brother were here. We could decipher the text together and spread the teachings of our people to the entire realm. Alas, he is not. His whereabouts are as hidden to me as those of the ancient armor. I would have liked you to meet him, if only so that you could have looked upon a true warrior. Well, perhaps you still shall. Yours is not as large as most people perceive. Paths cross, fates intertwine. Such is the will of the spitter. It may be that my brother has chosen a similar path to mine. I have rambled long enough. You are here to take the next step in your training, so I shall oblige. In the southern reaches of Thanalan is the Sigoli Desert, a god's forsaken wasteland of naught but sand that stretches as far as the eye can see. It is here that the Leviathan of the Dunes lurks, a sandworm of gargantuan proportions. When facing this mammoth creature, you'll soon realize that the feeble hacks and slashes of your puny axe are ill-suited to the task of felling such a foe. But do not let this dissuade you. Wake the slumbering beast within, and summon forth a strength that transcends the limits of your physical form. Mind you, first you'll have to find the beast, and that might prove a tall order in itself. The Yu tribe that inhabits Forgotten Springs is wise to the movements of the Dizians of the desert. Should you want for guidance, I'd wager they could set you in the right direction. Sandworms are particularly sensitive to the vibrations in the earth, such as those made by running. If you're looking to summon one of the beasts, then I suggest you search for their tracks, then run about making as much of a glamour as possible. I would also suggest you seek a cure for your madness. <clears throat> the Viathan of the Dunes? Saw the fearsome bugger not a week ago, preying on a group of merchants south of Byrgot's strike. The smart ones dropped their wares, turned tail, and ran. The dumb ones, well, at least they can't say they died rich. I ain't seen the beast. Stands three moms high, he does, and stirs up sandstorms with each writhe and wriggle. Showed up in, in my hunting field some years ago and has been swallowing up my would-be prey in that gaping maw of his ever since.
Our raid, your crystal grows ever stronger. In Philly, the raging sad worm, the beast within you, slowly but surely rouses to wakefulness. When next you do battle, methinks you will find yourself capable of movements here, heretofore unfamiliar to you. When you have mastered your new talents, return to me. In the meanwhile, I shall continue my study of the ancient texts. Hear the whispers of the village ancestors. Curious Gorge goes to Wineport. Curious Gorge would share to you a shocking revelation about his tribe's past. Hello again, my friend. It's quite obvious that you have been anything but idle in your training since we last met. Your progress is heartening to look upon, truly. It also serves to remind me that each hour I spend pouring over ancient texts in an, is an hour not spending honing my skills. I fear my worth on the battlefield is diminishing by the day. Yet I am certain that my studies of the Chronicles will yield something of use. In fact, just last night I discovered how the warriors of my tribe came to be shunned by the outside world. Upon witnessing my people's prowess with the axe, the armies of the city-states began to incorporate similar techniques into their own training regiments. These are the self-same techniques I have been instructing you in, Raid. Ones which I call upon the utter beast. The consequences, of course, were dire. Yes, the soldiers became nigh on unstoppable, but they were also wholly uncontrollable, and both friend and foe fell prey to the ensuing carnage. Of course, the heads of the head city-states laid the blame for these atrocities solely at the feet of my kind, Pro promptly banning the ancient art and imprisoning anyone suspected of teaching it, or so the chronicles say. What I find hard to grasp, though, is that never once during my training did my brother hit at this dark history, nor have I myself ever seen one of my tribes succumb to the rage that the Chronicles describe. Could it be that the tales are mere falsehoods, stories concocted by some long-forgotten enemy who would poison our heritage and befoul our tribe's name? Who in the right mind would seek to sully something so pure, and why would my ancestors simply bow their heads and suffer such ignominy? That my people should be so weak, so utterly befront of pride, is inexplicable. I refuse to believe it. It matters not if these claims are groundless. They are, if they are prompted by my tribe's art to fade in obscurity, then the damage has already been done. While I, for one, will not turn a blind eye to this injustice, if none of my people will give the lie to these stories that have tarnished our reputation, it shall have to be me. Ah, but when again, once again I lose myself in history and forget the present. If you recall, I spoke to you of my former comrade from the Company of Heroes, and the great woolly beast we have been pursuing. The beast remains on the loose, and to toss up pods of salt on the wound, fell creatures that appear to be its minions have been wreaking havoc on the innocents of residents of Wybord. Were you and I to succeed in quelling the threat, surely the people would see that warriors are no fearsome beasts, but valuable allies. Together, Raid, we will win back our proud name. Now, let us away to Wideport and meet with the captain of the militia. My friends, Wineport is much obliged for your aid. The, fr the feeds come relentlessly, and what few able-bodied men we have find themselves hopelessly outmatched. Indeed, the western gates have been so besieged that they currently left without any bad defense. Leave the defense to us, my good man. I shall secure the western gate. Raid, you defend the town from the east. Together we will form a bulwark which not a single feed can penetrate. Once the enemy has been driven back, we are we return here and back up the captain. Got it, Raid?
Thank the Twelve, you're safe. We have need of your skills yet. I just heard a scream, and I fear that one of the beasts might be loose within the village. Come with me. Closer raid. I beg of you. I I must return to the falls. It said a thing. I don't know what it said because it went too fast. Oh, Whatever has gotten into Curious Gorge. Tis true that he fought like a man possessed, but to mistake him for the very beast he hunts. Methinks the child's parents have been feeding her a too few a few too many ghost stories for her own good. Worry not, friend. I shall speak to the villagers and clear up this most unfortunate misunderstanding. Do return to the falls and assure Curious Gorge that Wineport is indebted to him and for his aid. Raid, please forgive me for leaving so abruptly earlier. It was a hasty reaction to a situation for which I was completely unprepared. While both you and I know that it was in complete control of my inner beast, I now realize that to the layman's eye, it may have seemed that, well, the opposite was true. Perhaps it was this very misapprehension that lent weight to the lies which led to my tribe's disgrace. And if that is the case, and perhaps I should return once more to the Chronicles and endeavor to reassess their message in light of this discovery. Speaking of light, your soul crystal raid, it sparkles. Does the soul of the warrior have aught to reveal to you? Any whispers of... of import? If only they haven't forsaken me as they did my brother. <clears throat> yes, well, I suppose that, that is that. I must continue my studies, and you must your, and you your training. I hope to have something new for both of us very soon. Until then, my friend. You hear the whispers of the village ancestors. Looking the part, curious... Gorge would send you searching for ancient relics. Welcome again, my friend. I was wondering when your travels would bring you back this way. It just so happens that I have some exciting news. I have finally uncovered the clues pertaining to the whereabouts of the lost armor of my ancestors. As it turns out, after the fallen hero cast the five pieces from the mountaintop, five of his pupils set out to recover them, intending to restore their master's name. What is more, they were actually success successful in the search. 
However, when it came to reuniting the set, the armor's great power began to work upon their minds. Not one could bring himself to relinquish his peace. Realizing then that their master's fatal pride was born of the artifact's combined influence, the peoples resolved to keep the pieces separate, and to share between five the power that might otherwise have consumed one. Thus did each of them crave it, carve his own place in history. The prodigals go on to say that years later, prior to death, each of the peoples returned to the seat of his own greatest victory, and buried the artifact in his possession in a final attempt to prevent any one warrior from holding the set and it is there that the pieces still rest. You may be interested to know that, I, that the armor I wear is itself a replica of the set crafted by my ancestors, identical in all respects save for its lack of the arcade enchantments that adorned the original. I know what you might be thinking. If we were to bring the five pieces together once more, what would prevent us from being corrupted in the same fashion? Well, I thought of that. What we need only do is trace the roots we find on the armor onto every piece of warrior gear. That way, there would be no need to worry about a single proud fool becoming drunk on his all-suppressing power, as every warrior in the realm would be possessed of the self-same might. It's quite brilliant, I do say so myself. So how about we split up, up and begin to search straight away? Three of the locations seem quite self-evident. I would entrust the search there to you while I track down the other two with Tom and Anne. One piece is said to be buried under the great rocks of Boulder Downs in Corthus, while another slumbers peacefully at Cap Tranquil in the South Shroud. Last three rests untouched at Parata's Peace in Western Thandaland. Unearth those three relics and bring them to me. With any measure of fortune, I would track down the remaining two by the time you return.
here, go that way. Our versus search raid. Have you found all of my tribe's ancient relics? Should you have the three pieces of armor, don them and show them to me. Ah, oh, Raid, that you found the gear is most gratifying, but what I would truly fancy would be to see you in it. Wait, stand still for a moment. The armor so becomes you that I could not tell you had it all to the fir at first glance, but now I can have no doubt, as since the power of the runes inscribed on each piece resonating with your soul crystal, this is the long lost armor of the warrior. I too have found one of the relics, but I have run into an unexpected rub. When I told the piece, I felt nothing, as if the lost treasure were no different from the unadorned replicas already in my possession. Whether the power has been lost to it, or must needs be awakened by means yet unknown to me, this I cannot say. The ancient texts still hold many mysteries beyond my ability to decipher. But before I forget, I should mention to you that I did tr indeed track down an another piece before I was waylaid by this curt conundrum. You should find it sealed away at Red Mantis Falls.
I see your search was a fruitful one. I am pleased to say I have also gleaned some insight into why the armor I found seemed devoid of power. As I alluded to, the ancient warrior's armor derives its power from a, a concordance between the incantations engraved on the seal itself and the inner beast of the wearer. But my own resonance with the plating was too weak as to allow a proper connection to it, with it. And now I think I know why. My soul crystal, once burned bright like yours, and since the events at Wideport, it has been reduced to a lifeless husk. Why this happened, I cannot say, but the tome is quite clear about what would happen if the, the powers of the armor to be bestowed upon one whose soul is weak. The inner beast would devour the mind of the wearer, who would go on a mindless rampage that would only end, would end only with the mercy of death. Yes, not unlike the crazed fiends we battle. I believe that the armor sits my weakened state, foresaw the potential danger, and then knowingly shut off its powers to me. And I dare say we are fortunate that it did. I feel as though an apology is in order at this juncture. I must tell you I left this final piece of armor where I found it, the breastplate, as the piece closest to the warrior's heart, as power is far greater and more dangerous than the other pieces. Uncertain as I was to the reason for my being unable to connect with my plate's mystical energy, I feared to take it would mean apparently both myself and those around me. Your soul may burn brighter than mine, yet still I worry for your fate if you were to put it on. Look deep within yourself, Ray, when you feel yourself ready, and only then come speak to me again. Proof is the pudding. Curious Gorge would share with you the location of the final piece of relic armor. You would truly seek the ultimate relic of my people. The armor that could consume the very soul of the most puissant warrior. Very well, if you are truly convinced of your readiness, I will not be the ones who stand in your way. But I beg of you, Ray, the moment you, you feel yourself losing control and your inner beast uh, over overcoming you, cast the armor aside. Cast it from the highest mountain or into the depths of the ocean. I care not. For once the beast consumes your soul, there is no going back. You will rage on, a monster, leaving naught but carnage in your wake. The realm will bleed, and history will repeat itself. I cannot allow this to happen. No, my people have been shunned long enough. I would see the coming of a new age, in which warriors protect the weak and are loved and admired by the people of the realm. My years of battle and sleepless nights spent pouring over the ancient texts. All has been for this day. Brother, I know not what, where fate has led you, yet I, and yet I feel certain that, in spirit, you stand with me today. Together we will restore the honor of our people. You must forgive my sentiment, Ray. As I said, this has been a long time coming. The breastplate you seek is in the highlands of Cortis, at the spring they call the Weeping Saint. I will stay behind. The events at Wyport still weigh heavy on my heart.
and over the breastplate raid. After m much wrestling with the thought, I simply cannot entrust such a relic to an outsider who may be overwhelmed by its power. I return now to Hidden Falls. If you would have words with me, then come. I will not run away. Sorry, I did not mean for things to happen like this. I had no choice. I have wrestled long and hard with this matter, but this is my decision. I cannot trust you with this power when I do not even trust myself. I, that's right, I won't attempt to don the plate again either. Nor will anyone, not until I have proof that there is one who with a will strong enough to withstand the beast siren's call. Peer deep within your soul, Raid. Peer into the eyes of the beast that stares back at you. Can you truly say that you can engage with the monster in battle and emerge victorious? I shall return to the tome. If there are any answers to be found, they lie within those pages. In the meantime, continue your training, that you might find an answer of your own. And... You hear the whispers of the village ancestors. How to quit you. Curious Gorge has received an urgent distress call. Reed, there is much we must discuss, but now is not the time. You surely recall my mention of, of the hunt for the bloodthirsty creature terrorizing the small folk. I've just received word that the self-same monster has been sighted near Wineport. What is more, according to those who managed to escape the carnage, the creature appeared more man than beast. If this is true, that our quarry could be far more dangerous than any wild animal. We must find a way to stop it. I must find a way. This is my chance to prove the, to the people of Wineport, nay, the world, that my tribe and my art have been wrongfully judged. Perhaps then my ancestors will deem me worthy. I think even my brother would too. There's no time to lose. We must arrive in the hamlet before any of the villagers fall prey to the beast. Let us leave at once. Thank the gods for your presence. Wineboard is in your debt once more. Folk... <clears throat> Folk creatures bear down upon our village in hordes, as if drawn by that great hairy beast. You must stop them. Reed, you fed off these creatures. I will see to the beast. This is my battle to fight.
It's a monster! It's the beast with their lives! Stop! These people are not your enemy! The enemy lies within! You are stronger than this! Take control of the beast! Do not let it consume you! Brother! Look what you are doing! You are destroying all that I work to restore! The fate of our people rests in our hands, brother! Your weakness would cost us everything! I cannot let this happen! I will not! Our ancestors have chosen me to lead our people to glory! No one shall stop me! No one! No one! No one! I, it was I who unlocked the secrets of the Chronicles! I am trained in their ways! I have uncovered the locations of the legendary artifacts! I, who defeated my tribe's greatest warrior! I am the master now! I am the master! Return to me what is rightfully mine! Give me the armor! Oh, I shall tear it from your bloody corpse! Your strength is no match for mine, Raid! I am the true warrior! Fed by the bloodshed, inner fury manifests itself before you. Rages will offend me! I can fight it no longer! Sisters, and I fill my own kin. I found out long ago what had become of my brother, but I but did everything I could to deny it. I thought if that if only I could prove myself stronger than he the people would see his madness as a product of a weak mind, and they would believe the problem lay within him, not in our tribe. Yet all the while, my own soul was growing weaker and weaker. The inner beast had taken hold. It would not let go. It drove me as it drove my ancestors, the keeper of the armor, and my brother. Our drive had lost sight of who we were, and seeking ever more strength, we allowed ourselves to fall victim to which that we had long scorned in others as weakness. Instead of learning to harden our wills with resolve, we steeled them with anger, and therein lie, lay our folly. 
Like a bonfire, anger burns hot and bright, but when the fuel that feeds it is spent, all that remains is ash. By accepting anger as our guide, we left our wills at the mercy of the inner beast. But not you. Your will is more akin to the lava which courses through the mountains of my homeland. It burns as strong, nay, stronger than any bonfire. And when it cools, it becomes hard and firm, unbreakable. This quality allowed you to keep your inner beast at bay. My people were once as you are now, Raid, and I believe that is why my ancestors chose to speak to you. They sense true strength within you, such a strength as could rightly represent our people and our art. Had I but realized that myself, none of this needs had ha happened. <sighs> well, what's done is done. If I am to have any hope of restoring my people's name, I must start over from the beginning. And this time, I must have tried to do it alone. It may take time, but together, my brother and I will restore our village to its former glory. And when we have, I shall remember Raid, my friend and fellow warrior, and how we, he saved me for myself, that my dream might become reality. The wit words of ages past have borne witness to your bond with your inner beast, I presume is what that says. Uh, I guess it's not going to tell me. Okay, well then. Oh, yeah. I think that's what it said. Wineport is in your debt once more, Raid. And once more, we have seen the truth of our own eyes. Pray tell Curious Scorch as much, and that we will be relying on him for his protection. He is a true warrior, and our humble hamlet would have been lost without his strength. Welcome back, Raid. Hmm? Despite how all that transpired, the captain at Wyport would entrust his village defenses to me? I... I know not what to say. There has been a long road, and thanks to you I have rediscovered what I lost so many years ago. I will see to my brother's wounds, and once he is well, we will embark on the path of the warrior again, engraving the lessons we have learned in our souls, never to be forgotten. Curiously, the moment I did avow this to myself, my soul crystal began to shimmer anew. I see yours, too, grow stronger than ever. It would seem my ancestors have once more bestowed their knowledge upon you. This mother... Yeah, just fish here, man. Totally ruined the moment. Really, dude? Just... Yeah, you do you, dude. Sure. This, this power, why, this power that I have only read about in tomes, nay, a power entirely beyond my comprehension. To think that I once doubted your resolve. No, you have truly conquered your inner beast and become a truer warrior than I could ever hope to be. Know that you stand before me in the equal of my tribe's greatest heroes. Ever steal your resolve, Rain, and go further into the realm and protect those who need your strength. Of you representing us, the redemption of my people, the new era I seek, is surely close at hand. Did you hear the whispers of the village ancestors?